Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be taking a look at the JJRC H22 micro quadcopter, which does inverted flight, and it also has kind of a double-sided uh, body. So this guy here is a review model from Tiny Deal. I'll have the links in the description of where you can purchase this if you're interested. Anyway, let's start the review. Um, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this, um, go ahead and put it together, set it up, go through the controls, um, then go ahead and do some flying indoors, outdoors, get some hat cam video of it flying, come on back to the bench and do a final thoughts, pros and cons. So first thing, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. All right, so it comes in this package. Here's your instruction manual. You've got a... Um, baggy with a charger, USB charger, which you can plug into a phone charger or a computer. Looks like we get an extra four propellers and these little foam feet as well. You can stick on the bottom. And here we go. Let's take a look at the actual H22. So it looks like this would be the top portion here nice candy apple red color on this one and this is the um, the propellers which enable for inverted flight as well as normal flight and then when you flip over it looks like the um, prop guards are basically molded into the um, body so you won't be able to remove remove those unless you uh, cut them off but anyway flipping over it looks like uh, you've got a little bit of a cool design on the bottom as well And then um, looking at the battery, looks like we have a 220 mAh LiPo battery, which is a 3.7 volt, and it says it's a 15C discharge rate on this battery. And it also has a little foam pad that's stuck right to the battery, looks like just to make it a little bit of a tighter fit. It's a pretty perfect fit, nice and smooth. It does look like it uh, might possibly be able to handle a battery that's a bit longer. Looks like it's got about a half inch more room. Anyway, so there's the quad. And getting to the controller. Here's the controller. Uh, kind of one of these basic little um, micro controllers. A little larger than the nanos, but a little smaller than the mini type controllers. And then here's the manual here. Um, basically just goes through all the basic functions, um, how to install your batteries, what all the buttons do, how to install the flight battery, and how to fly, and it's got some extra parts here on the back. Well, we've got the manual open. Let's go ahead and go through the controls, go over the controls real quick, just to see, um, see how it does. So it takes two AA batteries in the back of the controller, and it looks like it snaps in really nice and tight so the door won't be popping off. Okay, so as far as the controls, it's a little tough to decipher. It looks like it has um, headless, return to home, it has 180 degree inverted flight, plus it has um, 360 to degree flips. So might need to be testing all this in the field just to get the feel for it. But as far as what I can decipher, um, basically this is your, um, of course, your lift throttle up and down, your yaw left and right and then this is your um, your roll and pitch forward and side to side and then this is basically your trimming for your pitch and your roll the top right trigger is going to be your flipping so you click it once and it looks like you move the controller here around to do your flips the left trigger is going to be your rate mode so this one's got a um, Looks like it says it has three rates, so high, so low would be the first one, and then medium and high for faster flight. And then it looks like clicking in the right thumbstick here may um, change it from the inverted flight to 360 degree flip mode when you hit the top trigger button is what I'm kind of deciphering here. And then it looks like this might be kind of like some other ones where the left thumbstick would be your kind of your return to home and headless mode in the same stick. I'm gonna have to try to test that in the field because I can't really understand what it's saying but I think it's either something like you press it once and it goes into return to home 
and if you put any input in the sticks it kind of goes into headless mode so um, we'll have to test that so for this guy I'm gonna basically leave the feet off these little um, foam feet uh, I, I remember in another quad I did put the foam feet on and it was kind of unnecessary for me because it just kind of added to the wind resistance so I'm gonna leave these guys off because it does look like it's fine um, as far as if you land um, on these little motor these little motor guys unless you're really coming down hard on concrete um, it should be fine so I'm gonna leave these guys off and then this uh, manual doesn't say anything about how to recalibrate the accelerometer or gyro so I'm gonna just kinda play around with it a little bit um, in the flying video and we'll see if we can get that calibration set so anyway guys let's go ahead and take the H22 out for some flying and see how it does and then come on back to the table afterwards and do some final pros and cons afterthoughts let's go for a flight okay so we're at the park and we're gonna give this guy a test flight see how it does test out all the modes definitely looks pretty nice candy apple paint job on the top. A little bit of a breeze at the park today, maybe about five mile per hour variables. And so this is rate one. Clicking in the left trigger. That's rate two. And rate three, wow. So this thing has got some great changes in rates. And also in the yaw rates as well. So that's rate one, pitch and roll. Rate two. Let's go back to rate one, yaw. Rate two, yaw. Rate three, yaw. Holy cow, so rate three is a really, really acrobatic flight mode. And you can see what the pitch and roll is in rate three as well. It's pretty dramatic. Awesome. The inverted flight. Cool. All right, now we're back over. And I'm going to, while I'm in regular flight mode, I'm going to press the left thumbstick. That's our return to home. So that's working great. Bearing is still pretty solid. Let's try that one more time way out here. I'm going to go do ahead and do a range test. Since we got fresh batteries in the controller, see how far this one will go. So I'm about 100 feet. Okay, 100 feet, it's getting sluggish. Coming on back. So this one you got about a hundred feet. In some great battery time on this. And it's a real fun flyer too. It's like our battery's getting a little weak. Let's try to rate three funnels. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, RAID 3 is pretty amazing. Reminds me of the H8 Mini. So funnels in RAID 3 will just basically flip it. It's got such a high spin. Okay, let's come back into rate two. Rate two is a controllable fast rate. There goes our battery. All right, cool. So not sure on the flips yet. I can do the inversion. It says it does flips on the box, but looks like just inversion so far with flipping over and then flipping back over. But we'll do some more testing in the house and um, see how this thing works. So far I'm really liking this. It's nice and quiet, fast. 
Uh, it seems like the bearings hold very well for headless mode, etc. And um, it looks really nice. Cool, so let's do some house flight and um, then get back to the bench and do kind of a final pros and cons and see how it did. Okay, so we're in the house with the JJRC H22. We're going to see how it does with a little bit of house flying. Okay, so real quick on this one, just to um, calibrate the accelerometer and the uh, gyro, just um, both sticks to the bottom left, and then also both sticks to the bottom right. We'll calibrate both, and ready to fly. Okay, so rate one, there's our yaw. Rate two, yaw, and rate three, yaw. Woohoo! So this one spins like a top in rate three. Rate one, rate two, a little faster in rate two. So all three rates do increase the yaw. So here's rate one, pitch and roll. Rate two, pitch and roll quite a bit more. And rate three. Wow. So hover test after some trimming. Uh, after you trim it, it's actually pretty spot on. Okay, so let's see, uh, flipping. Okay, so there was our return to home, so the left thumbstick will click it in once, and it will return to home. Okay, so right trigger, we're going to do the inverted flight. So clicking in the right trigger and pushing forward. Okay, a little crash test. Okay, so um, on the box, it says it can do 360 flip, but I can't get it to do a free 360 flip. I can only get it to do inverted flip. So you're supposed to be able to uh, click this button in to toggle between inverting and just full 360 flips. But when I have it clicked in for the 360 flips, it's like it wants to flip, but then it won't flip. So there's our low voltage cutoff. I did try the flipping with without the low voltage cutoff, but it still wouldn't flip. So you're only going to get inverted mode, at least on my my review model here. But the um, so the landing work, the force landing, and the low voltage cutoff. So at least you don't have to worry about um, ruining your battery. Cool. So let's take this thing back to the bench, do our final pros and cons, and see just how this thing did. Hey guys, welcome back. So we got some park flight, house flight and some hat cam video on this guy and we're able to do some uh, kind of take it through all the modes and uh, kind of get a feel for how it works so we're gonna go through some of the pros and cons now and I'm just gonna tell you what I thought so basically I really like the design and the paint job of this guy really sporty look to it um, the only con I guess on this guy for me was that you these these uh, prop cards weren't removable if you wanted to remove them looks like you'd have to cut them off so if you really got good, um, you can go ahead and cut these off and have a little bit less wind resistance and um, probably just a few seconds more flight time. But anyway, um, getting back to the pros and cons, uh, it does do an inversion very well. and also looks nice when it flips over. It's got a kind of a neat design as well. Um, so it flips nice. doesn't have very good lift when it is inverted, but when it's right side up, it has decent lift. 
Um, that's kind of the case with these types of inversion copters is they have to have propellers that will work both ways. It does 360 degree flips. I wasn't able to make it do those in the flight video, but when I did get home, I tried again on a fresh battery and I did, I was able to actually do the 360 degree flip. So that feature did work. Headless mode did get kind of skewed after some spinning, especially on the third rate super top spins. Um, it would just go kind of like if you launched in a forward facing bearing from you and you did a bunch of spins it would kind of get skewed at kind of an angle like this it would think it's coming back at an angle when you do your um, headless mode and as far as the three rates go um, the flight rates uh, I think they were spot on as far as the pitch and roll and then the um, the the yaw rates also followed suit with that and then the third the third flight rate was pretty radical um, it did spin like a top when you are in the third rate so I'd pretty much that's just kinda like a show-off mode where um, you know just to have some fun you can't really fly with the yaw rate like that because it spins so fast but it is kinda neat to see it spin like a top and same thing for the return to home did a few tests and um, since the return to the home uses the same bearing as the headless mode um, if your headless if your bearing is a little bit skewed the return to home is also going to be skewed as well so as far as the flight times and the range go, uh, the flight times were four minutes until the low level voltage lights would start blinking and then another 40 seconds actually until it would force land. So this one gives you plenty of time. The range on this one was okay. I think uh, in the video it was 100 feet, about 100 feet, 75 to 100 feet. And that's kind of uh, the norm for these, um, these micro quads. That's pretty much all you're going to get effectively. So anyway guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the review, and again, this was a review model from tinydeal.com, and I will have the links in the description of where you can purchase this if you're interested. Anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.